Hi there, it's Dr. Brenda, money coach and the creator of the Gutsy Women Club, where women dare to dream and take bold actions to follow their heart's journey. And before I forget, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow along on this incredible journey, me and the three cats traveling across the US in an RV. So somebody asked me, uh, she said, well, what does a typical day look like for you? And I thought, you know, that's really a good question. And first, let me give you a, a caveat. I work from the road. Uh, but I'm my own boss, so I have my financial coaching business at drbrendamoneycoach.com. I have online courses on financial freedom at uh, dreambigmoneyacademy.com. And then I also am the founder and uh, the head gutsy person at the Gutsy Women Cl Club, gutsywomen.club. So everything I do is online, and I am my own boss, so therefore... The key word for me is flexibility. And so I don't know that I have a typical day. I do work around the weather. So for instance, today it's about 60 degrees. Yesterday the high was 86. So I took my hiking in the morning yesterday and today in the afternoon. But I'm gonna walk you through what today looks like just to give you a better sense of what it might be like to sort of balancing that life on the road, especially for those who are working or thinking of working online. So for me, I'm, uh, I tend to be an early bird. So I'm up at six or 6.30 and I take some time. I'm, I'm quiet in the morning and I might do a little bit of meditation. I try to stretch, have a cup of hot tea, and then it's usually time to take my cat Dolly out for a walk. So that's actually a very meditational for me. So if you've ever walked a cat, uh, you know it's not the same as walking a dog. She, you know, pauses here and there, decides to go there. So it's a lot of time for me to watch, oftentimes the sun come up and to just enjoy my surroundings. So walking the cat is actually uh, meditational for me, but I'll come back in and I use something uh, called Notion. I love Notion. It's this software that allows me to put everything in one place. It's got a calendar on it and I can add web pages. I can add notes. I can have all of my businesses all in one place. It's, uh, it's personal stuff I can put in there. So I use Notion and I have goals for the month for my business. Uh, goals for the week and then a to-do list for the day. So one of the things I do is take a look at what is it that I'm going to be doing today. And beyond that, it's like, you know, my time is pretty flexible. So to this morning, it is Friday morning. I have regular calls with my business coach at 8 a.m. So uh, uh, that helps me tremendously also define what I'm gonna be doing for next week. So I was on a, a business call for an hour, then I uh, did a little bit of work on the Gutsy Women Club and followed up with some, some members about some things. And then at 11 o'clock, I had a, a, a coaching call with a prospective client for my financial coaching business. So that led me up to the noon hour and you know, in between I grabbed something to eat and uh, it's nice outside. So it's like, okay, it's time to get outside. So I've just uh, uh, finished hiking for about three miles. And yeah, this is my view. I'm at Corpus Christi State Park. It is really critical for me to spend part of every day outside as much as I can, you know, weather permitting. And that is what I have found that the flexibility allows me to take care of business on bad weather days. Uh, also, you know, I'll have to go into town and do some grocery shopping here and there. Um, also look for a laundromat on this particular trip. So I have, you know, some time set aside for that, but it's usually during the work, the week, the work week. You know, I'm looking at a time when people are not uh, uh, all in the grocery store. So that's the flexibility too, to be able to go shopping, grocery shopping at nine in the morning is like, yay, there's hardly anybody here. Uh, so anyway, so today I'm, uh, I'm you know, headed back to the RV. I am going to do some more work. It's uh, decent enough that I am going to take my laptop. I get Wi-Fi uh, also out in my catio. So me and my three cats, I'll let them out into the catio so they will be happy. I'll do some work there. I do find that working sometimes from inside the RV and then switching it up to 
working outside is a really good deal for me. It sort of uses different parts of the brain. I feel like I can be more creative sitting outside in nature. And then I'm going to have um, uh, probably some some downtime. I'll have to tell you, I have not turned the TV on all week long. I'm not a TV watcher. Um, I, I might read books, but I'm not a TV watcher. So I may be on Facebook, may do some social media stuff. I try very hard to catch the sunsets. I am a sunset lover. So when it gets to be around sunset, I am out, outside with my iPhone trying to snap uh, a photo if it's decent out. I might walk around a little bit uh, around that time too. And so tonight I have a, a Zoom call at seven o'clock. It's with my Gutsy Women Club. It's a meet and greet. So I will be online for that. And then usually in the evening, I'm, I'm hanging out in bed with the kitty cats and I've, I'm, I've got wordscapes or checking the news or just uh, reading my, reading a book. So it's pretty, it's pretty leisurely. It is um, an absolutely fantastic life. I feel like in the old life, I know the old life where I had to be at work Monday through Friday and uh, uh, had my fun on Saturdays. And then usually by Sundays, I had to take care of all my errands, do my cooking, do my laundry, get the house cleaned up at least to some extent. And by the evening, it was just like, oh man, I gotta go back to work again. And now, um, I, every day is a little bit different. I can choose when to do what. So when the parks are real busy on Saturday and Sunday, I'm more likely to do my, uh, get more work done on the weekend. Um, uh, I've got some flexibility in terms of whether I wanna go into town. So I'm at, you know, Lake Corpus Christi State Park and Corp, um, it's, it's actually in Mathis, not Corpus Christi, but, I'll probably head into town. It's maybe 25 miles away, so I'll I'll venture out and maybe do a touristy thing one or two days. It's um, a lifestyle that is so darn well suited for me, and I think it is suited for so many people because, you know, I mean, especially to have my own business and to have my own flexibility and to schedule things around. Um, you know, my travel, and uh, um, it works out so well, but I find uh, each day there's just so much joy and happiness in being in charge of my life, in, you know, devoting some time to uh, be, out, be out in nature. So I'm going to show you around a little bit. I'm at uh, the this is called the Pavilion. It was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. And boy, I'll tell you, they knew how to, they knew how to construct buildings then. This is some solid, solid construction, but it's, I'm able to enjoy this. It's the afternoon. I'm videoing this. I'm the only one here. It's the only one on the trails today. Uh, the silence at night, the, um, the breeze through the air, the, the birds singing, the coyotes yapping, all of this stuff, it just, um, it just soothes my soul. And so if you have any doubts at all, especially if you're a nature lover, you know, sitting at that, if it's the dining room table now, or if it's sitting in the office, um, or maybe you're traveling all the time, but it's all for business. I know COVID has sort of struck a, um, uh, you know, those, those plans are, are long gone, but even if you're sitting on Zoom every day, I mean, that is a pretty tedious, tedious schedule. And this is about living. That's, that's all I can say. It's about living. So you have any doubts, any questions about, you know, what it's like to live out here, please connect with me and uh, please subscribe, follow us along. And uh, yeah, if you're a gutsy woman or a gutsy woman wannabe, please check out gutsywomen.club because I'm all about helping you with your dreams. So if, and uh, whatever, whatever those dreams may be. So you take care and may you have flexibility in your life. Bye-bye.